Here are the starters for race 11, the review stake for uh, the Greyhound for two-year-old trotters. That was number one, Magnetic Power on the monitors, owned by Bob Waxman of Ontario, trained and driven by John Johnson. 1A Likely Lad, owned also by Waxman, trained by Johnson, driven by Barrett Lindstedt. Number two, Silk Pine, is owned by Scuderia Del Baronado of Rome, Italy, trained by Marco Mera. He's in the bike. Number three is Lineage Hanover, owned by Bo Dahlgren, by Salvi Nordin, and Michael Perry, Jr. of Sweden, New Jersey, and Florida, trained and driven by John Nordin. Number five, or four, rather, is Pro Tip, owned by Kentuckiana Racing Stable of Lexington, Kentucky, Brian Penske Stable of Downers Grove, Illinois, trained by Brian Penske. Andy Miller is the driver. Here's number five, Victory on Ice, owned by Susan Gerfine of Delray Beach, Florida, by Deborah Ross of West Grove, Pennsylvania, trained by Ron Gerfine, the driver, Michael Chance. Six, Cape Cod Bay, owned and trained by Merle LaFontaine, co-owned by Frank Whitney Jr. of Plainwell, Michigan. Dale Heitman is the driver. Number seven, Malabar Chip, is owned by Henry and Sally Joseph Chick of Lebanon, Ohio, trained and driven by Mark Evers. Six minutes to post. They're at the post, the gate's rolling for race 11, second division of the Greyhound for two-year-old trotters. Here they come. They're off and trotting. There goes Likely Lad on the far outside. Silk Pine is on a break. Lineage Hanover is up to challenge for the lead. Pro Tip is there between horses. Likely Lad from the far outside starting spot moves up to get the lead heading on to the first turn and is followed by Lineage Hanover in second. Pro Tip will drop over toward the inside rail in third. Magnetic Power moves up on the outside in fourth. Victory on Ice is fifth back toward the inside. And then Malabar Chip who is followed by Cape Cod Bay and Silk Pine, the distant trailer after a break. 29 and four for the opening quarter. Onto the back stretch, Likely Lad leads it, but now here comes the stable mate, Magnetic Power. The entry goes one, two. Magnetic Power takes over the lead from Likely Lad. Lineage Hanover gets shuffled back into the third position now and is followed by Pro Tip. Victory on ice, Malabar Chip on the outside, moves up into fifth some seven lengths off the lead. Cape Cod Bay is next on the outside, and Silk Pine is last. They got the half in a minute for Phipps. There goes Likely Lad back to the front of the field. Likely Lad leads it again, and Lineage Hanover is moving up on the outside past the draw gate into second. Magnetic Power drops back a couple of spots into third. Malabar Chip moves into contention fourth, still three lengths off the lead. Then Pro Tip, Cape Cod Bay, victory on ice and Silk Pine. Approaching the three-quarter, Likely Lad fends off the challenge, at least for now, from Lineage Hanover, who's second. Magnetic Power is third. Malabar Ship is fourth. Three-quarters, one minute, 30, and three-fifths seconds. The tempo is quickened now. Likely Lad giving the field the slip on top by five lengths, a widening seven-length margin. Streaking by the eighth pole, Magnetic Power just went off stride. He gets to the outside clear of trouble. Pro Tip comes up the rail second. Lineage Hanover is third, and then victory on ice. Coming to the line, it is all Likely Lad. John Johnson and Bert Lindstedt sweep both divisions of the Greyhound. Likely Lad won it by seven. Pro Tip was second. Victory on ice was third in 159-1. and one. Those ten occasions. In other words, they're darn tough when they come here from Sweden for this race. Here they are again, folks. Bert Lindstedt, the winning driver with the 1A, Likely Lad. State Fair Manager Bud Ford makes the presentation in the winner's circle. And we're glad to have him with us here today. And he presents to the winning connections. Bob Waxman is the winning owner from Ancaster, Ontario. The winner bred by George Siegel's Brittany Farms in Versailles, Kentucky, near Lexington. This winning colt by the sire, Mr. Vick. And the result is official. 1-4, exact a $7.00.